Welcome back to Honest Straightforward Reviews. Guys, today, as requested by you guys, I'm doing a video on how to undervolt and overclock your GPU. So let's get it going. First things first, I want you guys to check out is on the top right hand corner near the map, you'll see I'm getting 144 frames per second, which is really, really good. I've capped it at 144. That's because I've got a 144 refresh rate on my computer screen. As you guys can see, it just dropped there. It's dropped to 89 and the minimum is around 80. So let's go into the software that I'm using. So I'm using just the bootcamp drivers, drivers from AMD. And the reason I'm doing that is because of a lot of other reasons, because I'm using my iMac and it's connected to my external uh, eGPU, which is the SFX Speedster Meg 319 RX 6900 XT, the black edition. All right, if you're getting a lot of uh, feedback, oh, I better run because I'm getting matted. Okay, I'm just gonna build here, guys. All right, so if if you're getting a lot of feedback, uh, that's because I've got the fans on full blast. Uh, I've got the noise cancellation on the mic on, but I don't know how good a job that'll be able to do. All right, let's look at my settings and as to what's going on. So as you can see up top, it's really uh, good. Uh, I'm getting 144, I'm capped at 144. Uh, which is really good and what I want you guys to take from this video is how to undervolt and overclock and right now I'm uh, undervolted okay so let's go into my settings and look at my GPU so looking at my GPU uh, like the memory clock is <laughs> right now really like it's just cruising okay the voltage is not that high look at the temperatures guys 33 degrees okay and the fan RPM, I've got a really aggressive fan curve, so that's why it's so high, but that's how I like it. I've got headphones on, you might get some noise in the background, but I've got headphones on and it uh, cancels all the noise, I can't hear anything. Uh, now let's go into tuning, so when you go into tuning, it'll ask you if you're okay to do that. So if you can do the presets or automatic, and I do the manuals, that's where you need to undervolt. First of all, you'll need to do the fan if you want that's where i start always so enable you'll have this disable enable that then disable zero R rpm so zero rpm is when like the card isn't really being used it'll just turn off the fan i don't want that so when i'm right now i'm connected to my imac and this is through an eGPU. so right like for me like i'll only use the eGPU when i'm gaming so i won't use it otherwise so it's turned off completely so uh, so anyway so do that disable this enable that and then fine-tune it like this if you want an aggressive fan curve and really cool card if you don't want the aggressive fan curve you can leave it as normal just disable everything enable zero and just as is don't change any of this stuff around next thing you want to do the power tuning so enable that max it out okay you want that headroom in to be able to play with your graphic card okay next thing vram tuning okay so this is for undervolting enable that enable this advanced control and bring it to 2100 some people like it at 2108 i like it at exactly 2100 some people also do fast timing i don't do fast timing even though it's got plenty of power and it corrects the errors out I don't like it. I need performance and stability. This is what I'm talking about up here. Okay, stable. Okay. Uh, other thing, I just wanted to quickly apologize about having an off-screen camera recording this. One, it helps to get the maximum frame rate. Second, I absolutely had a horrible time with Windows, trying to record it through Windows. It's just such a pain. Sometimes the audio would cut out and sometimes the video would cut out. So I just gave up on that. All right. This is where the undervolting happens, all right? So enable that, enable advanced controls. I want you to leave this at 500 and leave this as 25. And I could do about 1080, all right? So undervolt it by about 1080, okay? Uh, anything more than that, it kinda just didn't let, 
didn't work properly. It crashed a lot and things like that. So that is my undervolting and it works really, really well. Then you come up here and you'll have a, like a save button. So let's me, let me change that a tiny bit. So, I've changed, so apply changes, okay? So anyways, so let's get, get into the game. So that's a really quick one. So there you go, all right? Now, it might crash because let's do overclocking okay so you can do the overclocking so i'm gonna not play with this fan curve okay power consumption is the same okay so these two you don't change what you do is memory tuning you max that out okay don't undervolt it on i have now this is such a beast of a card the sfx mech 319 black 6900 xt i have gone to maximum i've overclocked it to the maximum in a pc okay however in a egpu i do this okay and it's still very very stable and i what i like to do the minimum is 300 minus whatever that is so that'll be that okay 2550 all right so that's it that's that's overclocking okay that's now overclocked and it'll consume the most power It'll be like power hungry, okay? So I'll play it a little bit and we'll come back here. So as you can see, boom, you know, the uh, usage has gone up, boom, okay? However, the temperature has only gone up uh, from 33 to 35. The fan RPM hasn't gone much higher either. Let's play some and see how that goes. So that's basically it about. So as you can see, it's a lot smoother with being completely over clocks because when I'm running around it normally just makes the card go a little bit crazy and it drops a lot of frames so what I want you guys to pay attention to is this this part here okay um, so the un the minimum see how it's stuck at 144 138 so it doesn't really drop when I'm gaming like when I'm going around look I'm outside it should drop to like before it was dropping like well below 130 now it drops to 130 and that's it you know what i mean so like really big maps you know it's really really stable when you overclock it completely it can be overclocked and pushed more in a pc all right guys that's it from me okay let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the overclocking underclocking if you guys want to see more videos about it in depth and in a pc as well but that's the gist of it. You guys requested it and I wanted to do a really, really quick one into it. Other than that, guys, please do subscribe. If you like this channel and if you want it to survive, please do like what I'm doing here, okay? So it'll help spread the word. Liking spreads the word. You can also share it around, please. And this is all free. It doesn't cost you anything. Subscription doesn't cost you anything. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok which doesn't cost you anything and if you really want to help out you can follow me on patreon which will help me massively all right guys that's it thank you for staying to the end of the video i really hope this video would help you out thanks for watching take good care Bye bye